What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad 2. Today we've got a little bit of a, a village place for us to explore. These kids are talking about someone named Leah. People seem to like Dr. Vilmer around here. Uh, and Leah. I guess Leah lives with Dr. Vilmer? Okay, so apparently we got another doggy treat, despite the fact that you don't actually have a doggy... Like, it doesn't do anything. You don't have any treats in your inventory or anything like that. Anyways, if we come into this farthest northeast house, there's a little chest in here, which contains a small sword. Is that actually any good? Uh... Certainly doesn't look like it. I think it can be used for something. But we'll just have to wait and see. Udo Village, huh? Seems like all the people here are, like, different from Vilmer. He seems like he's, like, a visitor. There's a little chest in the back there, but we can't get to it. Unless we go like this and go around the back. And inside said chest is a revenge bandana, which I will equip on L. And I might as well give the Gale Bandana to Lisa. Oop. I keep accidentally unequipping my stuff and when I go to back out of the menu. It's less than convenient. And I believe the last thing I wish to check out is in here. Maybe. Uh, sure, why not? Let's check out this guy's bathroom. Okay, well that's a wonderful bathroom you've got there. So, let's check out, uh... Where exactly we are. On a bit of an island, it would seem. There's Udo Village, and... Anything else? There's the Combined Shop, and the Sealed Ruins. Let's check out the Combined Shop. This is a, a pretty interesting little place here. I guess we can't talk to that dude, but... Basically... In the combined shop, there's a whole bunch of different uh, pieces of equipment you can make here by combining two different pieces of, well, two different items. And uh, most of them are pretty darn good. So, yeah. If you uh, happen to come across the two items required to combine a one of these items, consider yourself lucky. So the small sword is a component in the Spatha combine, so that is what that is useful for, if that is something that you wish to go for. Uh, realistically, I don't know how much of these things I'm actually going to end up getting, but they're definitely worth keeping in mind anyways. Good lord, 47 attack on that whip, that's ridiculous. 146 on the light longsword. So yeah, a lot of these things are pretty darn good. So, something to keep in mind, not something we can really do anything with right now. 
And the sealed ruins. I don't think we can do anything here quite yet. Save good, old people say. I really don't care about the dungeon basics. Can I actually come in here? It looks like I can. Well, that's interesting. I don't actually care to quite yet, so I'm just going to leave again, but... Yeah. Okay. No, not Lisa. Must be Elk. Elk is main character. Elk lead party. Anyways, now that we've finished our little tour of the island, let's head back to Vilmer's place. Out of my way. Out of my frickin' way. There is, of course, a little book here if you desire to save good as the uh, little man in front of the sealed ruins suggested. It looks like the workshop is open. Hey! That's my airship! What are you doing with my airship? How is that possible? The thing crash-landed? How can it not be a pile of rubble? Really? Doctor, doctor! Well, that can't be good. Dude's spazzing out again. Um, I'm pretty sure we do have a choice. Well, whatever. I guess we'd better go save the day. If nothing else, I'm sure it will earn the goodwill of the locals, which... is typically a good thing to have, especially if you're looking for a favor for, say getting off the frickin' island. Anyways, now that we know that Leah is inside the sealed ruins, we should probably head over there. Actually, before I do that, there's one thing I actually forgot to do. Now may not be the best time to do it with the, uh, like, intense music in the background, but... Pretty sure that does not matter. We have a little merchant here. Who sells us stuff. If you wish to buy stuff. Wait, Ponda can't wear the leather knuckle, can he? Hmm. Tooth. Is the tooth better than what he's got? It is, in fact, not. Anyways, there's blood herbs here, which you can buy those if you are looking for slightly stronger herbs. Uh, I think I'll pass. So, nothing here I... I hmm. Do I care about her weapon? Because that whip is not bad. Guess I might as well buy a whip for her. Okay, well, other than that, I'm gonna leave it there. Now we can head over to the sealed ruins. And we already talked to this fellow. I don't need to, like, 
Oh, jeez, I do need to rest up. Okay, back I go once again. You would think resting... Like, the resting that you did for the plot would restore your health. But apparently that's not the case. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make here is that before actually going into the sealed ruins, you want to be prepared. Make sure you're rested up. Make sure you saved. Make sure you have all the supplies that you need. And then go to the sealed ruins. I wonder if I can think of any more excuses to go back and forth again. Uh, pretty sure I've done everything I need to do now. For reals this time. So. I guess we better uh, search out. Oh, we actually got a little scene. More bats. Let's get out of here. And so we shall explore the depths of the sealed ruins next time on Let's Play Ark the Lad 2. Catch you later.